We are back in Duskwood. This is the second part for episode six. Uh, we just finished doing the puzzle, and there's something new in those puzzles. They have those little uh, little bombs, little colored bombs in those puzzles. And if you don't uh, if you don't clear out those bombs in a certain amount of moves, you lose. You lose. So, uh, just a quick hint for those who are struggling with that puzzle you you gotta you gotta knock those bombs out pretty quick before it before they run out of time and let me just say that beginning the beginning when you first open the app where you hear that that bell and then you hear the crows in the background i i don't know maybe it's just me i love it i love that sound i i, I listen to it every single time absolutely love it but let's get right into it jake it looks like jake's reaching out to us there he is. Hello, tongue tied. Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't Jake, I thought they'd caught you. You were gone for pretty long. Obviously, we didn't think they caught Jake, but just playing around with him. That's right. Jake won't make it that easy for him. Sorry that I wasn't able to contact you for so long. You should be sorry, Jake. We were worried sick. But as I can see, you got along pretty well without me. That's not how I'd put it. I do what I've got to do. And there's a lot at stake. Let's, uh, there's a lot at stake. We, we know that. And did you read what I sent you? Yes, yes, he did. Also, and also I read through some of your chats to prepare for our conversation. Excellent! That saves us some time at least. That way I don't have to tell you everything. Perfect. Because who knows if we'll... What we'll remember. That was my intention. So Jessica was attacked. Right in front of my eyes, no less. Poor Jessica. Poor Jesse. You admitted to me that you may have developed feelings for Jesse. Jessica. That's right. I may have. The attack on her must have been terrible for you. Whoever did this is going to pay. I'll make sure of that. And didn't you assure me others would be safe, Jake? Something about borders the kidnapper won't cross. Yeah, you were mistaken. It's okay, though. Can't be so careless with your assertions. Who'd have thought? Everyone makes... Hey, hey, I mean, who would have, who'd, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Completely misgaged the kidnapper. That just shows me more clearly how dependent I am on you. But why Jessica does that make sense to you in any way? Hmm. I wonder what our hunch is. Maybe Jessica is kidnapper number two. And to make her not seem like a kidnapper, she gets attacked by a kidnapper? I don't know. But I have a hunch. The kidnapper was only interested in me. Lost my train of thought. He just tries it with everyone. 
I, I think the kidnapper is definitely interested in me. I mean, he's, he contacted us a couple times saying to stay out of it. The threat stores towards Cleo. Cleo didn't phase me, which is true. He knows that she's the most important one of the group for me. I was on the phone with her when it, while it happened. He probably knows that she's uh, of the group, not including Jake, not including Jake. He probably, or she or he, whoever the kidnapper is, probably knows that Jesse is probably, is definitely the most important to us. Other than Jake. Jake understands. Notice anything about the hacker? Let me think. It's pretty dark. I, he wanted me to see him. Yeah, I think he definitely wanted us to see him. I mean, he held the camera right up to his face. He looked right at me. I don't remember him saying anything. Maybe. Couldn't hear through the mask, though. He was definitely wearing a mask. I think that's important notice, though. <laughs> I think I just shouted random stuff. Of course, various insults. <laughs> various insults. I insulted him. It's all very strange. You should definitely question Jessica, too. Perhaps she noticed something. Yeah, we kind of already talked to her earlier. We should give her a little more time to rest. We did talk to her earlier, but she, was, she wasn't up for talking about it. See if Jake talks to Jesse. Might be interesting. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> See what happens. It be it might be a good way to get Jesse to trust Jake and vice versa. If Jesse definitely isn't the kidnapper, it's good to to get another person of that group to trust Jake. I think that's important. Her last interaction with me was not exactly the most confident, confidence inspiring. And have you already built a relationship with her? So she will automatically want to tell you more than she would tell me. Anyway, we could probably rule out that Jessica is behind Hannah's disappearance. It could be two perpetrators. That's what I've always thought. We always, we always make that assumption that there might be two people, co-conspirators. Therefore, the attack on her would have been staged, so you would rule her out as a suspect. We were just talking about that. We're so smart. We are geniuses. We were just talking about that. Exactly. What do you think? He doesn't think that there are two perpetrators. Which makes me think there is even more. What's more is that we didn't have Jessica down as a suspect. I'm not saying Jessica is a suspect. I'm just saying that there is a likelihood of two perpetrators. We should complement our previous insights and assumptions with the new information. So Hannah is suddenly completely changed and won't even explain herself before her own boyfriend. Mm. 
None of the others ever mentioned anything about her strange behavior. Although he is worried sick. Yeah, I think I remember they all thought she was just being normal. I mean, I think Thomas was the only one that noticed a strange behavior. So she hadn't confided in anyone, and Thomas was the only one to notice anything. Right, exactly. Or whoever she did confide in didn't doesn't want to tell us. But right now, as far as we know, nobody knows, and Thomas was the only one that she confided in. We haven't received any hints about who accompanied Hannah to the unknown family yet. With your newly acquired information, however, I would assume that it was not Thomas. What do you think, Tungtide? Who went to Iris with Hannah? Hmm. It could have definitely been... Someone from outside the group. Oh, was it Jake? I think it was you, Jake. No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was Jake. It could have been. I mean, we don't know. Is Jake the mysterious lover of Hannah? I mean, that's something that we've talked about in our in our comments in the comment section. Uh, in a lot of these videos, is is Jake being the the uh, secret lover of ha of Hannah? Hmm. Should we should we should we call Jake out? See if see if that's really what it is. See what see what Jake uh see what his response is when we say that we think it was him that that went with Hannah. Because again, what is Jake's relationship with Hannah? He hasn't really told us too much. He hasn't really delved, dove too deep in that. Let's see what he let's see what he has to say about that. Let's see what his response is. It's just a feeling because you were with her in the forest, too. I don't remember what that was about. Jake was with her in the forest. I didn't. I don't remember Jake being a part of Duskwood. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. Why should it have been me, and why wouldn't I admit it to you? I'm not going to call him out about being behind her disappearance. <laughs> but I only want you to know I'm not ruling you out, Jake. Now, I don't like either one of these responses, but I'm definitely not going to just like say that he's behind the disappearance. I don't like either one of those responses. I don't want him to make it seem like he's a suspect, but... I just wanted to see what his. I just wanted to see what his response was. A wrong goal will only lead you away from the right person. There is a connection between the bracelet, the incident in the forest, and Jennifer Manson. However, some important pieces to this puzzle are still missing. At least we can now assume that Hannah bought the bracelet herself. That way, the lover theory also loses credibility. Dan just did something with his profile. Let's check Dan's profile real quick, see what happened. Oh, Crowman. Limited edition. New stories every week. Crowman, free poster. Win prizes, 48 pages. It's all about that. Dan is all about Crow Man. All right, let's get back into it with Jake. That way the lover theory also loses credibility. Yep. 
Yeah, there it is. We thought that he might be the lover. We thought that the J on the bracelet was for Jake. Let's let's just be like we thought you might be the lover there, Jake. For a while at least. J for Jake, H for Hannah. But what do I know? <laughs> Hmm. I like the... Let's see. You weren't her lover, were you? That's asking him a question that he needs to answer, that he would have to answer. J for Jake, H for Hannah. If I say that, he'd just be like, it's ridiculous. Um, let's, let's ask him the question. That way he has to answer it. No. <laughs> That's not the case. Neither was I Hannah's lover, nor did I have any other form of relationship with her. So he had no relationship with, with Hannah whatsoever. Good, so we've got that out of the way. Now, unless he's lying to us, which I don't think he is, that's ruled out. I'm curious what you guys think, though. Do, you, do we still think that Jake might be the lover? Do we still think that Jake has some kind of relationship with Hannah? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. I have to admit you've come across a really good thought there. I never thought about the fact that it may seem to you that J may be my name. Or may be for my name. Right, that, that's, that's the other thing. Another thing. The bracelet. There's a bracelet for you guys. If you guys wanted to see that again. Got the emerald stones. I noticed the stones in the bracelet I mean the emeralds. I noticed the emeralds in the bracelet. <laughs> They're really ugly. <laughs> Didn't we read something similar recently? Right, that was in her poem. In that poem that she wrote. In Hannah's diary. Exactly. Back then you had attributed them to a second person. Would you like to read the diary entry again? Yes. Should we go back to read the, where is the diary entry? Hannah's call log, document one, is this the diary entry? Where should I go? What is going to happen when I have nowhere else to turn, when the fake smile disappears because there are no more feelings left to ignore? The forest lies still, but it was not always being like that. Today is one of those days that I have been warned about, a horrible day, but no one told me that the days leading up to the moment would be equally hard to fathom. I know that I, it will pass, it always does, but it helps not to think about it. Today is a horrible day for me. That wasn't it. It had nothing to do with emeralds. He went with me, thank God. Otherwise, I would not have been able to do it. I would have turned around right on the driveway and left. The family gave such a warm welcome. It felt as if I had been, to a, uh, been there small living room a million times. To visit did not provide uh, the visit did not provide any new insights. Iris assured us that she told the police everything. That didn't stop her from retelling the whole story once again. I know the story well, every detail she knows it too well to matter or no matter how long it's been, I doubt she'll ever forgive it. Forget it. When it was time to go, Iris gave me a hug. It broke my heart. She was the, she did, oh, there it is, eyes much like emeralds. She has the same eyes, eyes much like emeralds. That was the eyes, the eyes like emeralds. So she bought the bracelet for herself as a token to Iris's eyes, or, or to Iris because her eyes were much like emeralds. Right.
She has the same eyes, eyes much like emeralds. I'm assuming that this must be Jennifer. I know what the connection, I think I know what the connection is. The family is related to Hannah. Iris is Hannah's mother. Jennifer is Iris's daughter. I don't think Iris is Hannah's mother. They went and visited. Jennifer might be Iris's daughter, though. I think that's what it is. I think Jennifer is Iris's daughter. Because their eyes are just alike. Jennifer was... was killed. She went to see the mother. Jennifer and Hannah were friends, so she went to visit Iris because... Bad things happened to Jennifer. And it was hard for her to look into her eyes because they're like emeralds, just like Jennifer's. I think that's what it is. Jennifer is Iris's daughter. And the bracelet with the emeralds is Jennifer. But how is the rest connected? The bracelet has always been Hannah's. Maybe the bracelet was Jennifer. So the J stood for Jennifer. And Hannah, so maybe it was like a friendship bracelet type thing. And then Hannah started wearing the bracelet in memory of Jennifer, maybe. I think so too. Oh, we're right on track. Jake and I think alike. Me and Jake, we are like one mind. Hannah bought the bracelet when she saw it in the pawn shop's window. Why? Because she recognized it as Jennifer's bracelet. But the initials don't. They do. J and H. Then the H is for Hannah, right. Because they were best friends. Jennifer and Hannah were best friends. It was a friendship bracelet. And Jennifer had it forever. And then she died, and then it was in the pawn shop. And then Hannah found it and was like, oh my god, it's the bracelet. I gotta buy it in memory of Jennifer. We're so close to our goal. We've made a lot of progress without my help. I learned from the best, Jake. <laughs> Great, now it's your turn to <laughs> now it's your turn, cloud hacking. <laughs> That's right. Give me a give me give me some help, Jake. Start doing those puzzles for me. I learned from the best, Jake. From my dad, a famous detective. From myself. <laughs> Let's be. Let's, let's give him. A, let's give him a little little tease from myself. You're the only person who can still make me laugh. Did you know that? Aw. <laughs> I like you, Jake. I like to make you laugh. I'm glad to hear it. Got to go. All right, Jake, it was fun talking to you. Hopefully we can talk again soon. Can you go on with the telephone list in the meantime? Oh, yeah, can you go on with the telephone list in the meantime? Of course. Of course. If anything happens, you can message me anytime. Same to you, Jake.
I think it would be B. Were you, what were you trying to say? I think it would be B. Jake is now offline. Jake? What the hell just happened? What are you doing, Jake? Get back online. What were you trying to say? You just cut out? All right, let's go ahead and do this dial. We need to find out what the next number is on the phone log. Now, were we going from top to bottom or going from bottom to top? I think he was going from bottom to top because we called Roger's Garage. So 95042. Let's try that one. 95042. You have reached Dylan. The person you have called is temporarily not available. Please try again later. I don't know who that was. I called the second number. Yeah, it belonged, belonged to some guy named Alan. At first, I wasn't sure what the name was. He said, you, you've reached, and he said, Alan, but I couldn't really hear it. I was like, but it was definitely Alan. I hope you're okay. Hope you're okay, Jake. Should we call the next number? Will it give us the option to call the next number? What would the next number be? 42315. Let's see if we can call the next number. Two, three, one, five. I have a feeling it's probably just going to keep ringing. I don't think we're there yet in the story. Which it doesn't look like because now we have to complete some cloud storage puzzles. So we're going to end it right there. We talked to Jake quite a bit, learned a little bit uh, new information about Jennifer and Hannah. We found out that Jennifer is the daughter of Iris in the um, in that uh, diary entry of Hannah's. The bracelet, we've come to the conclusion, at least we think, the bracelet belongs to or belonged to Jennifer. Hannah found it in the pawn shop and had to buy it because she recognized it was Jennifer's bracelet. So that's where the bracelet came from. Thomas freaked out over nothing, apparently. He thought the bracelet was from another lover, which I think we all kind of thought that as well. We didn't think that it was from Jennifer, but that's where we're going to end it. So if you guys have you know enjoyed this video, if, you, if you've learned something new, let me know in the comments below. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, that way you can be notified anytime I drop a new video or anytime that we want to conduct a live stream. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, I love you all, and have a great day, a good night, or a good morning, depending on where you're at. See ya.